This is an example of a gap sensor wheel which is not clicking over with every label. So if we pull through some labels here, what you'll see is it's sliding across the top. And the reason for that is because it's not actually sitting fully square and touching the back plate here. So if we just show you with the screwdriver, you can see it's kind of dangling around here. What we're gonna do is slide this off and adjust it for you and uh, show how it can go back on and make sure you hit your labels every time. The easiest way to adjust this gap sensor is with a pair of pliers. You can see here we're placing our thumb just on the other side, on the left-hand side of this sensor and just gently bending the tip of it down. So now we have a gap sensor which is on an angle and we'll place that back onto the machine and show you how it sits. This gap sensor is now sitting more flat against the back plate and the label. You can test this with a screwdriver and see there's a bit of tension as the wheel goes around. This should click every time when labels feed through. We're manually pulling these labels through just to show you a nice clean click each time.